Well, hello there, lovely ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we're going to talk about one habit most people don't have and which really is bad for them because it causes them to self-sabotage without even noticing. If you just start doing this one thing regularly, I swear your life will change in all regards. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video if you thought it was useful, share it, and also leave me your comments below. I just love your feedback. It gives me a lot of ideas for making other videos. Okie dokie, so let's get started. Where did this idea to make this video come from? And what is this one thing that most people don't do that leaves them in the state of constantly repeating self-sabotaging behavior and not even understanding what's going on? So the other day I was talking to a friend and like many people, she's going through a very tough time during this pandemic. She got fired. She's a single mom dealing with all sorts of challenges. And, you know, throughout the years, I have seen her try a number of different things to better her mental health and to basically just, you know, make her life more enjoyable, more functional, and for her to also be able to be able to realize her dreams and actually live a fulfilling life. She's not one of those people who just kind of sits by the wayside and doesn't do anything. She's always active. And I know that in that sense, she's not a passive person at all. So she's dealing with a really huge crisis right now, a huge catastrophe in her life. And we were talking about it and she confessed to me that she has very self-destructive behavior that kind of is always under the radar because she never actually stops to think about what she, she's doing. And this is what I want to talk about. So we were having this conversation. She's telling me about all of these things that are going wrong in her life and how everything has gone wrong. And she's like, Tati, you know me. I've been trying so many things throughout the year, but you've witnessed it. Everything just goes wrong in my life. This is unbelievable, right? It's like I've been chosen specifically to suffer. And then I asked her the question. I said, yeah, I have seen you try a number of things. In your opinion, what do you think your mistake has been in these various different areas of your life? And then at that point, I realized what, the, what one of the problems was because she just paused and looked at me. She's like, I have no clue. And I'm like, what do you mean you have no clue? You keep telling me that you're having these very repetitive problems in your financial life, in your emotional life, in your relationships. Well, you've tried all certain things throughout the years. What has worked and what hasn't worked? And then she said, Tati, I didn't even realize I had to think about those things. I just kind of kept trying things in the hope that something, in the hopes that something would work. So she hadn't realized it, but in this desperate um, investment in a number of different things, and she would invest her time, her energy, her money, she was actually trying to externalize the responsibility of fixing her life. And it didn't really dawn on her because in her mind, if she was investing in things all the time, then she was trying to take responsibility, right? Now, she had, it had never actually crossed her mind to pause between failed relationships and failed financial endeavors and, and failed attempts at dealing with her emotions and just ask herself, hmm, I wonder why this failed. What did I do that went wrong? And what have I been doing that actually works? This feedback loop didn't exist in her life. And by feedback loop, I mean the habit of routinely pausing and actually reflecting on the different areas in your life, on what's working, on what isn't working, and coming up with an alternate future plan based on your findings. Most people live in a constant state of reality distortion. And it's most people in any walk of life. We're talking about entrepreneurs and also people who try to have relationships or people who try to lose weight or people who try to do anything, really. And, and you can tell that you don't have the habit of actually reflecting on what, what you're learning from your mistakes because you might have this weird sensation that it's really shocking that you have the same problems over and over. If you have that impression, like, dude, I have no idea how I got to this place again. 
that's probably a huge sign that you just do things, but you don't ever stop and reflect on what you did. Now, think about it. I'll give you a specific example. I have this one friend who invested tens of thousands of, of dollars on a marketing ad agency to launch one of her products. Now, she, she'd never been an entrepreneur before, so it's not like she knew how to read the market or how to have a, a winning product. She was learning, you know what I mean? And month in and month out, she would keep investing tens of thousands of dollars in the same product and getting no results. Now, if it were me, nowadays, because in the back I used, in the, back in the days I used to not reflect on anything either, right? But I would like do something for a week, then pause and ask myself, is this working? Right? I wouldn't go month in and month out with the same behavior, losing all of my money, which is what ended up happening and her product did not actually take off. If she had paused to routinely ask herself if all of her investment was actually working, she would have noticed pretty pretty early on that it wasn't working, and then she could have learned something from that experience and tried something else. And she could have saved herself potentially tens of thousands of dollars because she would have noticed that that product was not going to work, and she could have invested in something else or tried some sort of other technique. Likewise, in relationships, if you're, you always have this eerie impression that, huh, my relationships never work. I just really don't know why. I guess life just doesn't like me. I would probably suggest that that's, that's probably the result of you not reflecting on what does and doesn't work in your relationships. If you have a string of failed friendships and you're just at a loss as to why does this happen? Well, how many times have you actually sat down with a pen and paper? You know, you go to, go to a coffee shop, get yourself a, a latte and spend, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, a couple hours actually analyzing everything that went right and went wrong in your relationships. How is it that you are living the same story with different people? For me, that's telling me that you don't really reflect on what you do and you just do stuff impulsively without actually know, basing your, your strategy on any insight, on any information, on anything constructive. Now, I wanna pause here and remind everyone that one of the things that um, allows us to, to diagnose personality disorders is when is precisely this incapacity to have insight and to learn from your behaviors and to then try to do something differently. Now, I'm not saying that you have a personality disorder if you just don't have regular feedback loops where you pause and reflect. But I am telling you that it is disordered thinking to not pause and reflect on what you're doing. So what I want you to do right now is I just want you to think about those very repetitive situations in your life, be it with your family, be it with your romantic uh, partner, be it with friends, be it professionally, whatever. And I want you to ask, actually ask yourself three questions. I keep saying these three questions in different videos, but it's just really three simple questions. And the first one is, what worked? What worked in your relationships? What did you do that's pretty cool? You know, uh, what worked when you tried to, to launch that company? What worked in, in your romantic um, life? What worked in your profession? What worked in this or that area? Now, what didn't work? Actually list out the, the attitudes, thought processes, and choices you made that did not work. And the third question is, what are you going to try to do next time? Now, I know these are very simple questions and you may be like, Tidy, that's not going to save my life. That's not going to save me from all of these horrible problems. But then I would challenge you and be like, okay, but why do you have all of these accumulated horrible problems in different areas of your life? Did you learn from each of those areas individually? Did you pause and actually reflect on, on, on how you are responsible for creating these repetitive situations in your life? right? What I'm trying to, to actually pitch here is that it's not like you're going to see amazing results if you do one feedback loop. Like, oh, that, that girl from the internet said that I should reflect on, on what I'm doing wrong. Well, I did that last week and my life still hasn't changed. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm suggesting is that you make a habit out of always learning from your attitudes because otherwise, when we don't learn from the stuff we do by systematically and conscientiously reflecting on it, we actually create self-fulfilling prophecies for ourselves. 
because we can't catch our self-destructive behavior because we're not pausing to look. We're just acting like robots that have been programmed. And we have been programmed by your trauma, right? Um, okay, guys. So that's the one tiny little habit that makes all of the difference. If you want to grow like astronomically faster than you have been, what difference, what impact could that have in your life if you just paused like weekly and took an hour to write in your journal and reflect on everything that you did that worked, didn't work, and what you're going to try to do next time? What sort of impact could this have in your life? So I would love for you to answer that question um, in the comments below. Tell me what was most impactful about this video for you, what your takeaway is, and one thing that you have learned and that you can do differently from whatever repetitive, painful situation that you have in your life. Tell me your stories in the comments below. If you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with someone if you think it might help. And if you are looking to get personalized consultations from me, then you can get in touch um, at my email, in my different social networks. Check out the contact info in the description below or on the link in my biography on Instagram. I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions and group programs and also programs that you can study by yourself without my aid. And you can check those out, the Inner Mastery Lab, in the link below or on my biography on Instagram. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and that's it for now.